Hello everybody, Ministorm here. Welcome back to Stellaris, the co-dominant human elf campaign. In the last episode, we continued our efforts in the war that we've been fighting for several episodes now against the Omni Foundry and the Metatron Directive. We were able to successfully occupy all of the enemy planets in this section, their southern section of their territory. We have our fleet here interdicting any attempt from ships built in the northern area to get through this hyperlane and try and relieve these occupations so they cannot recover those. Not without help anyway. And we have taken our fleet, we brought them back for repairs and upgrades so they are fully repaired, upgraded to the latest designs and we are now moving them into the um, Moij Hugskin Coalition territory to help defend them against the Metatron fleets that have been attacking them. Uh, we are also moving in our ground forces in case they are needed. Now the thing is, is that if we go here... That we are at minus one. But with Links of War, we'll get plus two. So we'll get plus one if we don't do anything. As long as we hold what we have. Which means we win. However, I was thinking about it in between episodes, and I've decided that I do want to have at least one major fleet engagement with a Metatron battle fleet. Because even though the mechanics would let me do it, from a realistic standpoint, I can't see the Metatron backing down and agreeing to um, our demands just because we occupied some planets in their allies' territory. That I need to deal a blow directly to the Metatron to let them know that, yes, they have lost and they need to come to the negotiating table. So that is what we are going to do. So we just need to get our fleets. We are assembling another fleet, a smaller fleet that we're going to be merging in with our other ships at some point. Um, oh, the other thing is, is that due to a request from one of my Patreons who requested that I create this character because it's the one of their roleplay characters they use on the Discord server, that I give the character the psionics ability because that's part of that character's backstory. So, I went ahead and did that. Alright, so, let's go ahead and... Get the things moving because we need to get our fleet in position. Um, I'd also say we need to start rallying everybody. But. Construction complete. I probably don't want to do that until we actually get into allied space on the other side of the Valdari. So we'll hold off on that. Now there isn't really much else that I can do at the moment until my fleet is in position, so I'm just going to have to hold off here and wait for a bit. Oh, we can upgrade the Sacred Nexus. Upgrading to a hollow temple. Don't we have... No, it is a hollow temple. We're upgrading it to the sacred nexus. Right, right, right. Okay, so we got that unlocked. We're gonna upgrade that to a sacred nexus. And this. And this. And we need to get some more pops on this planet. We got our paradise dome. I can probably move you there to put them in the paradise dome. We have our Paradise Dome here. Yeah, there it is, right there. I'm actually going to swap you... Mm, no, I should probably do that. Yes, okay. Make sure the Paradise Domes are being... ...operated. Alright. 
Alright, where is your paradise dome going to be? It's going to be here. Uh, so I'm going to want you to swap there. There we go. Upgrade this. This is the... is this the paradise dome? Yes, okay, so we got someone there. And here... There's the Paradise Dome. Okay, good. Alright, looks like this is where things are collecting. Our new ships, our new battle cruiser, our new cruisers, our new battleship. Here's the other new battleship coming in. Alright, so where is the fleet? There it is. Takes about what, seven days to do a jump? Ten days. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, a hundred, hundred, ten, hundred, twenty, hundred, thirty, hundred. It's going to take a little while to get there. Okay. We're at zero. I think because we are the war leaders, we are the ones who get to determine whether or not we, ex we actually force, uh, force our demands. See, there is a Metatron fleet. There's some small security forces. But nothing too serious. That's the fleet we're going to try and knock out. Alright, I'm going to set to take point. Transport fleet's coming over as well. There's that Metatron fleet. I need to keep an eye on it. Are they even destroying any... Any star bases? It doesn't... No, they're just jumping around. Not sure where they're going. Uh, change of plans. Just, just head here. All right, we'll just let that guy do its thing. Um, uh, how goes the ability? Psionic army. Now, I don't know what the difference is between a psionic army and, the, and an army that has a psionic attachment. So 
So I may have to rebuild the the forces that I made my psionics troops into actual psionics troops. Um, I wish these were arranged like this. Should be one of my. Well, I can't really tell when they're in their ships. Can't do anything diplomatically until. I mean, as far I mean, at least as far as you know, inviting new Federation members and everything. Do they have a trade deal with us? No, they do not. Let's um, let's get that research agreement going. Why don't they like that? I can give them an instant transfer of energy credits. Eighteen hundred? Sure. Confirm it. It's gonna hope that they have some tech that we don't. We have the active sensor link, we have the research agreement. And another research agreement. We have two research agreements, apparently. Alright, they accepted. Army recruitment finished over here. Our first Valdari army. Construction complete. They're gonna get um heavy artillery support, I think. These guys can embark, and I will tell them to merge in. Um, we'll see if they're able to actually do that. Alright, there's my fleet. Two jumps away. Nobody does seem to be following me. Oh, they are. Who is commanding that fleet? Species Hydari. They come from. Interesting. Alright, as long as we do have one support fleet, 40,000 fleet power. That is fine by complete. me. Construction complete. Where did that. There they are. All right. Make for that system. Maximum possible speed. Wait, right. is that where they are? No, wait. Oh, they're in Hobus now, okay. Entering orbit of Lucari. Oh, 
They're entering orbit of their home planet. Construction complete. Geothermal world. The Isk Empire is starting to integrate to the Norilga cartel. Zephyr's link is declared war on the Glub Star Confederation again. Technology discovered. And we've got ourselves medium concussion missiles. Very, very nice. Heavy turbo lasers. Yes, please. Alright, hopefully we can get to the Hobus system before they leave. Alright, so now we need to do... Actually, I don't want you to engage directly, because I want you to... You're going to need to wait for your uh, support to arrive. And we're going to go into our ship designer. Oh! The sleeper's awake. Begins a subtle shift in Gulkfurkian behavior. Scattered reports of their ships, once rarely seen outside their own space, now being spotted in remote systems across the galaxy. Highly advanced scouting vessels, visiting ancient ruined worlds, refusing all hails, and fleeing when attacked. Their purpose and mission unknown until now. We now know that the Gulkfurki were preparing, recovering the databanks of survey beacons and automated scaling posts left behind when they retreated to their present borders, gathering information for their return to the galactic stage. In Gulkfurki space, fleets are gathering, armies are being mustered, and ancient factories roar to life. For the first time in an age, the Gulkfurki crusaders are looking outwards beyond their borders and toward the galaxy at large. As your decaying shipyards are repaired and refitted and the dormant systems of Titan foundries come online, the rest of the galaxy is left with only one question. Who will this once sleeping giant target in their first quest to reclaim age-old glory lost? Uh... Okay, they're on the other side of the galaxy from us. I don't want to be the nib consciousness right about now. These guys are not ring world users, are they? No. Okay. Alright, as I was about to do, go to the ship designer. Go to our missile ships. They've been automatically upgraded with the new medium concussion missiles oh. but not all of them apparently oh because that creates a power issue okay so we now need to swap uh, let's swap one of the small armor for a generator there we go And this one, same thing. And I'll probably have to do the same thing. Sacrifice some armor for some more power. There we are. And same thing here. New concussion missiles. And we're going to need a new power generator. I think I'll go actually with one of the small shield generators. There we go. Save. Strike cruisers. Oh, that's one thing I didn't actually build in my new fleet. Is any strike cruisers? Uh, let's rectify that issue. Spaceport. Um, strike cruisers. Complete. Give me a few of those. Alright. Let's run us out of minerals. Alright. Well, let's pause it for a second. There is the 10th security echelon, the main enemy fleet. Oh, excuse me. Alright, what I want to do is actually order my fleet to attack theirs.
probably heading back out here. Actually, let's... Oh yeah, they're definitely heading to me. Um... going to be jumping in from this system, right? This is their only path to get this way, so we're going to do what we did before. You guys... Start flying to that point. It's gonna be a long flight. Actually, the better idea. Oh, they're coming after me. Beautiful. Beautiful. That is precisely what I want you to do. Come after me. Let's get this on. How appropriate is the Moij Huskin or Huxgen uh, that are supporting me? Since they're, since they're the ones that uh, have been kind of taking the brunt of the Metatron attacks. There's their fleet. Entering orbit of Rats. Entering Hyperlane, the Caspadeen. <sighs> you changed up plans on me. to hold out in the battle. Alright, they've arrived. Entering Hyperlane to Kosk. Where's Kosk? There? Ah, uh, they pulled a fast one on me. Construction complete. It seems they have the same drives we do. Entering Hyperlane to here. Entering orbit of Ratzel. Where is that? Not there. Not there. Where, where is this? In the Sosta system. Oh, it's a Metatron held system there. In the Gagasi area.
Oh man, that's a long... That's gonna be a long flight. But hadn't said that I that they were attacking me, what I would have done is just jumped back here and then waited for them to come here and got that engagement I wanted. But they slipped past me. Oh, now they're gonna try to attack. Why do they go there? Yeah, I'm basically going to just tell them to attack. Alright, we need to pick a new... A new tradition here. Now, we do have... Oh, it's First Strike Legion. Um, traditional... Synth Envy, Traditions of Discovery. Something, somebody else here wanted us to have a certain type of tradition. Hmm. Guess not. Um, Supremacy, no. Domination, no. Expansion. Probably not, at least not at the moment. I guess prosperity is going to be our best bet. Reduce our building upkeep, reduce our ship upkeep. Um, energy grid, energy nexus, now also provide unity. Yeah, yeah, we're going to adopt the prosperity uh, traditions. Man, what in the world are they doing? Come on, if we make that jump before they jump out... Oh. Where are they? Well, it looks like the battle's begun. Without us. We'll be there in about 10 days. Unless they do an emergency jump. Which they almost certainly are. in the fight. Let's see a 
believe these are the Metatron ships. Yep, it's down. All right. We lost nothing. We knocked out two of their battleships. With our fleet, anyway. And we forced the Metatron to retreat. Alright, I'm gonna call that good enough. We're at a plus three. We had that good space battle. Which should be in here. I'm not sure where it is, but we're going to go ahead and send our demands. Too many colonized systems. That's fine. That did not get me anywhere near what I was kind of hoping for. Was just a little bit weird. All right. Um, I don't know if that would have given us a little bit more. Maybe they have some um, frontier outposts over here. We'll have to see. Let's do this. Uh, our main fleet. We're going to gather both of our fleets. How come we can't get there? Uh, no, can, can we come back here, please? No route for the selected fleet to reach the system? How can they not... How can we, like, not get here? Not get here. Is there no hyperlane connection there? There's apparently no hyperlane connection there. I did not realize that there wasn't one. Oh, well, that's kind of irritating. And I would have thought we would have had the... Um... Hmm. All right, well, we'll figure this out now for a moment. How are you guys at war again? Oh, come on, guys. Why are they involved in this war? They're allies with the Civelli Galactic Assembly? Non-aggression pact, guaranteeing the independence of the Globestar Confederation. Oh. Huh. 
<laughs> really? All right. Why will you not join? War philosophy allows wars of aggression minus 50. Okay. What about the Agassi? Will you guys join? No, because you are involved in this war. Well, you're still at war with the Omni Directive and the Med Omni. Okay. I should have taken this system. Ah, oh, well. For another time, I guess. Construction complete. <sighs> and they're the ones that they want me to have the ability to make wars of aggression. They won't join with the burning blade. Due to having no access. A couple of science ships, apparently. War score is zero. Well, what I can do is because it will bring these guys in. And they work a bit long here on the episode. But I'm going to go ahead and we're going to change our army philosophy again. Not the army philosophy, the war philosophy to liberation wars only. We won't be able to change it until uh, for three years, which will be fine. Then these guys can come into the Federation. Confirm. The Valdari Assembly stopped guaranteeing the independence of the Kark Hunting Grounds. Well, that's good news. Uh, they should have more than Federation Association status now. gonna say yes indeed they did we have considered your offer and they have decided to join yes very good now we might want to run again a war against the Savelli to transfer planets into these guys territory that might be a good idea at some point I look what the diplomatic has a non aggression pact, defensive pact with the Glar St St Glub Stark Federation and our coalition. Okay. Twenty-three oh two three twenty-six is when these guys are gonna show back up. Alright. Have these guys come back to our home system for repairs and upgrades.
The ISK decided to end their association status. What? Hmm, looks like relations with the ISK are beginning to sour. Slightly. All right, well, we'll see where this goes. Maybe the Valdari will get out of this war at some point. Minus three war score, and maybe we can finally get them in the Federation? Because they're kind of the linchpin um, of my plans in the northern areas. Getting them in our Federation, and then... Because um, then that was, should... You know, prevent them from being able to intervene in any wars against the Ozcox and a few other, a few others, such as the Kahark and everything else. Well, they broke that defensive uh, alliance, so that won't be a problem. And this is kind of irritating as well. I, I did not notice that there wasn't a connection between these two systems. If I had, I would have made sure I got that one. Oh well, I'm sure we'll be going back to war with the Metatron at some point. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.